today's video I'm going to be showing you how to foil the end of your boy quine. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the end of your boy quine fitting is on your boy quine because you don't want to foil it with that there. The boy quine tool you see in the video is one you can find from Avance or AutoZone or you can get online. They come in the kit with different little, uh, I guess, mushroom fittings or whatever you call it. You want to line it up with the bottom notch like you see here, then tighten down your boy quine cramp tool whatever it's got a fancy name I don't know what it is but it lines up with that bottom mark that's how you know you got the right amount that hit will mushroom and be able to you know give you that nice seal that you want in a brake line or whatever kind of line you're using this tool for then you take the other part of the tool it comes with the kit and you can see this one's got a 45 degree angle on it that comes into play when we mushroom the brake line down you want to tighten this down to it bottoms out you know, it don't have to be completely super tight that Hercules got to loosen it. You just want it to snug down like you see here in the photo. Once it stops, back it off. And you are left with a mushroom. You know. So, the 45 degree that's on this tool, you can get these in different degrees by the way. The 45 degree will go down into the brake line and uh, mushroom everything so it will seal off good for your brake lines or whatever you're using it on so we are now tighten it and you want to tighten it to it kind of snugs up you don't want to over tighten it you know it don't take Hercules to loosen it and you are left with a fit in that you know that should seal your brake lines perfect so you loosen it up we can take a closer look at it. I'm doing a voiceover, by the way. Very fancy, I know. And if you uh, over tighten that, when you know in the final procedure, you can crack the, you know, the bevel and stuff itself. So that's why you need to be gentle.